What's going on guys? TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top five NBA plays for today, October 28th, 2023. Plenty of NBA games going on today. Um, a lot of them are on back-to-backs, but I do love a lot of areas tonight. And uh, before we get into that, make sure you hit that like button if you're going to tell any of these picks. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell for the notifications when I upload every single day. I do appreciate you guys so much. We're almost at that 10,000 mark. We're at like 9,150, almost 9,200. Um, you guys have been blowing blowing the YouTube up, guys. So I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys can, let's get to 100 likes in this video. Um, I appreciate the support on the t-shirt idea. I might be dropping some t-shirts soon. I'll let you guys know if I do. And before we do get started, really, really quickly, if you guys are interested, I drop all of my prize picks, underdog, better, and sleeper slips every single day in my Patreon. Um, you just connect your Patreon to your Discord, and then you'll see everything in the Discord. I also do daily sportsbook bets as well, VIP watch parties, VIP giveaways. And if you guys are looking for a legal sportsbook, all 50 states, Look no further, you can use Thunderpick. You can use my link in the description and in the comments down below to tell the $25 to $25,000 ladder challenge. So what you're, what we're gonna be doing is every single day, we're gonna be flipping $25 on plus 100 odd plays, which is just doubling your money. And after 10 days, if we could do 10 in a row, we would have 25 grand. Um, we got to like day four or day five that first time around. Now we haven't gotten past day three since. So we are starting back on day one today, but I do love this play today. And what you're going to do is you're going to use my link. Make sure you use that link. You're going to get a $600 bonus on your first deposit when you use my link. Um, but you just sign up, you make your first deposit and you're going to click sports in the top left, click basketball. United States of America NBA and what we're doing is we're going to do the Timberwolves money line paired with the uh, 76ers money line and it's going to be a 2.3 odds bet you can do that combo and when you do 25 it'll be $25 to return right around 57 dollars $58 so highly recommend it guys again I'm doing the Timberwolves money line paired with the 76ers money line $25 to return 57.48 so as long as it's around that 57 58 mark you're good um, loving both of these teams tonight again Thunderpicks legal in all 50 states they're VPN friendly. They're super easy to use. Withdrawals are instant. Within five minutes, you'll have the withdrawal. Um, cannot shout out Thunderpick enough. But that's my play for today's $25 to 25K ladder challenge. Let's get into the actual prize picks plays, what you guys all initially came here for. Um, I do have five plays today that I'm absolutely loving on prize picks. And let's just get into it. We're going to be using Outlier for our bets today and our props today. And first of all, we're going to go with uh, on um, favorite to least favorite, like always. And our first favorite is Tyus Jones. I don't know why Price Picks does that. Under seven and a half assists today. So used to love him last season quite a bit for over assists. But when your line is as high as seven and a half, that is just too many assists. So we can see it's a 55% implied probability of hitting. Minus 127 on Caesars. Minus 120 on both FanDuel and DraftKings. When we take a look, our uh, last five, he stayed under all five. Last 10, 7 of 10. Last 20, 65%. 13 of 20. In 2023, the one game he's played, he stayed under. He got six versus the Pacers. And then in the head-to-head, -head, we can see... Against um, against the Grizzlies, he stayed under all three games he's played against them. In 2022, he stayed under in 79% of games with um, an average minutes of 24 minutes per game. So we can see last game he played 28 minutes. Um, he's still getting around the same minutes, 25, 26, um, up to like 30. But seven and a half assists is just so much. The, the non-VIG odds is minus 148. Um, for the under. So we do get added value with this on prize picks. I will say this is already bumped down on underdog to seven. 
So taking this under seven and a half on prize picks, you get added value compared to everywhere else. I really like it. And again, I do go in order of confidence. So with Tyus Jones being under seven and a half assists, this is my most confident play of the day. And I'm locking it in with confidence. The next play, I really love Xavier Tillman going right back to the well with him. He played yesterday. We took his under a three and a half assists yesterday. It got bumped all the way down to two and a half yesterday, and he still would have cashed it. He only got two assists yesterday. Um, unfortunately, Zier Williams got like four assists last night. His line was under one and a half, but don't ask about him, but... Tillman absolutely went crazy. Um, well, he didn't go crazy. Um, he stayed under three and a half assists. But he did uh, score a lot of points last night. But he was not passing the ball. That's just how Tillman is. So we'll take a look. So we can take a look. Last game, he had 13 points last game. I know he shot the ball a ton. But then when we go assists, he stayed under three and a half assists. He only got two yesterday versus Denver. And we can see the under three and a half. The non-big odds are around minus 131, which is very, very, very similar to what Price picks. Excuse me, an underdog give you. Now he is playing for around 33 minutes per game right now, so he is going to get a lot of minutes. He is on a back-to-back, -back, so they may not play him as much. I do like that as well. And then in the head-to-head, -head, he stayed under at all three games versus the Wizards um, in his uh, lifetime. So. Loving this for him, taking that under, locking it in with confidence, and let's go to the next play. Next up in the line, we have Anthony Edwards, over three and a half assists. Um, we can see the non-big odds is actually minus 164 for this one. Um, so we do get a lot of extra value on prize picks. This is the same on underdog, the same exact line here. Um, we can see... Over his last five, he's went over in four or five. Last 10, eight of 10. Last 20, 13 of 20, 65%. In 2023, he's gone under in the game that he played. In 2022, he went over in 62%, which is 53 of 86 games. And in the head-to-head -head versus Miami, he's gone over in all four games versus the Heat. So I'm loving this spot for him. Um, again, locking it in with confidence. He's getting... Let's see, 2023, he got 38 and a half minutes um, in his game this year. And we can also see Anthony Edwards has exceeded three and a half assists in eight of his last nine games with a 4.7 assists per game average. So I'm just loving this spot for Anthony Edwards. I expect him to pass the ball tonight, um, and I expect him to be able to get that three and a half assist mark, get at least four for us, and cash that out. Next in the list, I'm going right back to Desmond Bain. We had under five and a half rebounds yesterday. That did cash for us. Unfortunately, today it did go down to five rebounds. Not liking it as much, but I still am leaning under. But I also lean under for his assists as well. So what I'm going to do, you get a 0.5 bonus as well. I'm taking the under 10 and a half rebounds and assists. So we'll take a look. Under 10 and a half rebounds and assists is minus 125 on FanDuel, minus 129 on Caesars, minus 135 on BetMGM. And we can also see that in the head-to-head, -head, he stayed under in all three games. Last five, he stayed under in four of five. Last 10, seven of 10. Last 20, 14 of 20, 70% still. And in both games this year that he's played, he stayed under. He's also on the uh, tailing end of a back-to-back. -back. So loving this spot for him in 2022 he stayed under in 69 percent of games 44 of 64 so i am absolutely loving this spot for desmond bain to stay under 10 and a half rebounds and assists i do think this one will be bumped and i'm locking it in with confidence and our last play of the day is going to be brandon ingram under 25 and a half points you go to our friends at outlier brandon ingram under 25 and a half points is minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 133 on Caesars. The non-big odds is minus 139. So again, again, we're getting some bonus value on underdog and prize picks. In the head-to-head, -head, he stayed under in all three games. In the head-to-head, -head, in the last five, he stayed under in three of five. Last 10, four of 10. Last 20, eight of 20. But in 2023, he did stay under in the one game he played versus the Grizzlies. 
And then in 2022, he stayed under in 52%. Um, I like him to go under just because the head-to-head -head stats. And last game, he only got 19, and he played 36 minutes. Um, I honestly don't think he's going to play a full 36 minutes again tonight. And where he stayed under in all three games versus the Knicks, I really like this spot for him to stay under tonight. Especially because we do get bonus value, like I was saying, with the non-big odds being minus 139. So that's my last play of the day. I'm going to lock it in with confidence. And again, we're going to start off with Tyus Jones under 7.5 assists. Xavier Tillman under 3.5 assists. Anthony Edwards over 3.5 assists. Desmond Bain under 10.5 rebounds and assists. And then finally, Brandon Ingram under 25 and a half points. These are my top five plays of the day, guys. Make sure to hit that like button if you're going to tell any of these picks. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And let's cash out today. I'll see you guys in the Discord. And have a great day.